Right, this is Melty Black that Cadenza, the third in the series. Um, the first two games were very, very popular fan-made PC games. Um, the games were so popular, in fact, that they got an arcade port and eventually a PS2 port. Um, as you can tell just by looking at the screen, there are plenty of weird and wonderful characters. They're all based off the Melty Blood manga, basically. So, um, the storyline from um, that comic, so to speak, is in the game. Um, you don't actually necessarily have to understand the f uh, the story to fully appreciate the game, like in all fighting games. But it's it it does have a very deep storyline, actually. If you look on the net and stuff, and people translated it, it's a very very interesting storyline. Anyway, I've just selected my favourite character. Um, a noble woman who drinks his blood and suddenly turns into a blood sucking vampire woman. Um anyway, uh as you can tell, very, very nice presentation. Um you couldn't really tell this was actually a um unprofessional effort so to speak, but the game itself compared to the old PC versions is a step up in every direction, gameplay, presentation, sound, the works. Um, well, let me explain how the game actually works. This is a very, very, very fast paced game, okay? This is nothing like you've ever played on any fighting game before. Forget Guilty, Guilty Gear, forget fa the real Bout Fatal Fury games, you know, this is probably the fastest fighting game you'll probably ever play. Um, there are four buttons in the game, light attack, medium attack, heavy attack, and reverse. And, see, the batches are so quick they can actually end within like 30 seconds or so. Um, the moves themselves and stuff, they're all very simple to do, so you don't have to be like, have a, a, a degree in SNK joystick input commands to actually learn how to play this game. It's all very, very simple Street Fighter style stuff like Dragon Punch, Fireball. If you do the um these moves with the C button, the heavy button, you'll see the uh the magic bar at the bottom right of the screen, bottom left and right of the screen. You'll use up um you'll do a more powerful variant of your move using those um basically just by inputting the regular command but just using the heavy button. Um, this allows for some very very meaty attacks. This game is very very fluent in that respect. You can link pretty much a lot of moves into other moves thus making the game a very very fast paced affair. Now, um, as you can probably tell at the start of this video, um, the menus are in English and stuff, so you don't really need to learn any Japanese to get full enjoyment out of this game. Um, there are several gameplay modes, survival mode, arcade mode, versus mode, blood, 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 blue. Um, nothing too unusual there, basically. Although this game does have, actually have a lot of secrets, a lot of, um, like there's extra voice packs, extra characters, um, extra artwork for you to unlock. So far I've only unlocked about 4% of the game's <laughs> content. Um, yeah, anyway, um, the game is actually very, very addictive because of its, um, well, basically simple but at the same time deep gameplay. I mean, you don't, to, ba to learn the basics of this game doesn't take very much, but if you actually want to become really good at the game and beat survival mode, for example, which you have to go through the entire of the 20 strong cast of this game with one energy bar, then you're going to need to learn, that, learn what moves go with what moves sort of thing, you know, you got to learn some decent combos. And that's what I like about this game, I like experimenting with the combos, I like experimenting with different characters. The cat, the female character on the left that I'm using now is actually one of my favourite characters in the game. She's kind of like a church demon hunter person. Um, very good in fact. It's reminds of um, Ray from Evangelion actually. Anyway, um, 
as I was saying, when I was playing this two player with my friends and stuff, they all really, really enjoyed the game because they could all really get into it because it didn't require, like, basically your, spe your whole special move list splashes up on the, um, versus screen and after that you learn basically all the moves, they're all really simple with like Dragon Punch Fireball and stuff, so it all works really well. The character design on this is also a breath of fresh air, yeah, it's not got anyone wearing a karate G in it, there are no, you know, like the usual standard cannon fodder punk people or anything like that in this game. It's all based around vampires, slayers and stuff like that. Servants as well. <laughs> um, um, that, the character on the left is probably the most unusual in any fighting game ever. There are a tag team. You control one at a time, obviously, but if you press down, down in reverse, you can tag your other partner in. They both share the same energy bar, so it's not cheap in that respect, but it's quite interesting character design. Speaking about the characters, the animation and graphics in this game are absolutely stunning. I mean, there's just a ton of animation all over. You watch when the g girls in long skirts jump and stuff, they all move about in a realistic way and stuff. It's just fantastic to watch. This makes it, um, uh, this goes to show that you don't need a really, really big sort of production budget to make a really good game. Anyway, um, as you can tell, the characters on this game are actually very varied. Um, of course there are some characters that are just slight variants from other characters, but uh, on the whole, they are actually played differently. And these characters, unlike Street Fighter where you get Goo and Ken and stuff like that, they, they're actually there for a reason, it's actually to do with the storyline. And they do have the slightly different moves, like slightly different specials and stuff, but... Overall, I think that's probably one of the only minus points about the game. There are like one or two characters that seem that, you know, that they're basically there just for storyline purpose as opposed to gameplay. But overall, you can't really mark the game down for that. Every fighting game in the history of fighting games has done that. You know, King Fighters, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. You know, you can't really mark the game down for that. Anyway, um, overall, this game is going to get an essential purchase for me because while this game will probably never come out in the West, it's worth importing for thirty pounds purely based on the fact that it's something different, it's something original and it's so simple to play that anyone, even if you don't generally like fighting games and just like to play fighting games around your friend's house for a laugh, will really enjoy this game because it's very simple to play and overall it doesn't alienate people, while at the same time has enough depth to keep like veteran fighting game people entertained in the game as well. Anyway, I'm now going to leave you the rest of this fight. I hope you enjoy the rest of the footage. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the house.